Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm doing a video on my favourite jeans because I absolutely love jeans, I wear them all the time, but finding the perfect pair has been a mission. I've tried so many pairs over the past like five years and 99% of them fit horrible. They're so unflattering on my figure, sizing's all wrong and just generally do not look good on me. But I feel like I've finally found five pairs of jeans that fit amazing. Um, they're all super affordable. I think the most expensive ones I have are 45 pounds. Um, but yes, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of them today. Um, I'm like a UK size 10 or like a US size eight, I think. But the main problem I have with the jeans, which I feel like is quite a common problem, is that they never fit like both my kind of bum and thigh area and then also my waist. If I go for jeans that fit like my bum and thighs, then I always have like a massive gaping hole at the back of the jeans. I've let you know what I mean, like especially when you sit down, there's just loads of room. Um, but if I go for jeans that fit my waist, I literally can't get them up my legs. So all the jeans I've got to show you today have a really good like bum to waist ratio, which I know is a little bit weird, but I feel like it's very important when picking the perfect pair of jeans. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on with the video now. I'll link all the jeans in the description box in case you want to pick up any for yourself. And obviously I'll be trying them all on, telling you sizing, pricing, all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So first pair of jeans I have, I actually have in two colors because I love them so much. But these are the ASOS Farley jeans. So they are advertised on the website as mum jeans, but I would say they're kind of in between like a skinny jean and a mum jean. They fit quite tight around kind of your bum, thigh and waist area. And then they go into like a tapered leg kind of jean. Um, so yeah, they're so, so flattering, especially on your bum. Um, they come up nice and high waisted. Like there's a lot of material between where the crotch starts and like the waist if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, they're just really flattering. They fit so well around the waist. These are probably the best jeans if you do have more of an hourglass figure. Definitely check these out because the bum to waist ratio is on point. Um, but sizing wise, it's a little bit weird with sizing because I have these blue ones in a waist 26 length 32 and I'm not a waist 26. I'm like a waist 27, but nowhere does a waist 27. So I normally have to get a waist 28. Um, but I have the black jeans, which are exactly the same style, the ASOS Farley jeans. I have these in a waist 28 and they fit the exact same. So I'm not really sure what's happening there. Um, I feel like it might just be trial and error, but they do these jeans in so many different colors and so many different styles. They have like light blues, dark blues, ones with rips, ones without rips, black jeans, faded black, Again, ones with rips, without rips, they have whites, they have beiges, they literally have every colour and style you could want in these jeans. Um, so definitely check them out. This is the other pair I have. So just like a faded black with rips in the knee. One thing to note with these jeans though is the ones I link down in the description box will look a lot darker. Um, but where I've had these for so long, I think I've had them for about five years now, they've just gone to like a really faded black, which I actually really like. But just so you know when I link them, that they are the same ones. They're just a little bit different in colour because of washing them. Oh, I forgot to say price as well. These are, I think, around £35. Okay, next pair of jeans I have are these ones here. Now, these are the Topshop Premium Mum Jeans. Um, now, they're different to the original Mum Jeans. I think a lot of people get confused between the premium ones and the original. The premium ones are a lot more tighter fitting and they have more of a tapered leg to them. So yeah, these are one of my favorite jeans. I love dressing them up with like heels and a nice top. I'll insert some pictures from my Instagram as well because I wear them all the time. Whenever I post a picture, I get so many messages asking for the style I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, the shade of these are really nice. It's like a light bleach blue. Um, I think they also come in black, dark blue and white. Um, but yeah, just love these. I actually have two pairs of them because I wear them that much that I literally miss them when they're in the wash. Um, and they have the like Topshop tag at the back. So it's in like brown. I think price wise they're around £45. I think they're the most expensive ones I own. So I suppose I have these in the waist 28 length 32. Um, they are a tiny bit too big for me around my waist. Um, but I tried on the waist 26 and literally can't get them on. So yeah. Next up, I have just a black pair of skinny jeans. I feel like this is such a staple in everybody's wardrobe, um, but I only discovered these like two months ago. Um, they're from Hollister. Never bought Hollister jeans before this, but love this pair. Um, so 
They're the curvy ultra high rise jean legging. Um, so they are more of like a jegging material, but I feel like for black skinny jeans, that's kind of okay. But yeah, so they're part of the curvy range. They're kind of made for that hourglass figure. So they have a little bit of a smaller waist compared to the kind of like thigh and bum region. Um, but what I love about them is that they go down to like small sizes in their curvy range. So yeah, you can pretty much get them in every size. I have them in the 5R, not really sure what that means, but it also says waist 27. Um, yeah, another thing I love about these is they do a waist 27. Nowhere else seems to do waist 27, they just do waist 26 and waist 28. Um, so love these, um, and it says length 28. I'm not really sure what that's about because I normally buy a leg length 32, and these literally fit the same as a 32 leg length. So yeah, not really sure what they mean that, maybe it's like a different kind of sizing measurement, not sure. But yeah, they're just a really good pair of black skinny jeans. They come up nice and high-waisted, which I love. Um, they're quite like a dark black as well. Um, only thing I will say is that they have fake pockets in the front, which I hate. Just have real pockets. Doesn't take a lot. They have real pockets in the back. So hello start. I know you can do them. But yeah, I'll link them down below. I'm not entirely sure of the price. Maybe I'll like put it up on the screen or something. Okay, so next up I have another pair of Topshop jeans. Um, I absolutely love Topshop jeans. Just always find them really good quality and the fit is always amazing. But these ones I have here are the like normal kind of original mum jeans um so do these in a lot of colors but this i think it's like the bleach blue shade i'll link the exact ones down below um but they're similar to the premium ones they are a little bit lighter in color as you can tell um and also they fit like slightly baggier they also have a little bit more of like a stiff denim feel to them um compared to the premium ones but they are still soft they're not like a super rigid denim so they have a little bit of stretch to them um i have these in the waist 28 length 32 but what i've actually done with these they fit better around the waist um is put elastic in the back so i've just threaded it through as you can see um so yeah they are a little bit like scrunchy at the back as you can see it doesn't look the best but yeah whatever and then I also have this pair of mum jeans as well from Topshop. Um, so same style, but these ones have rips in the knee and are a slightly darker denim. Love these though. I feel like these look really nice dressed down just with trainers and like a hoodie, but also dressed up with like heels and a nice kind of blouse or shirt. Um, again, size-wise, I got them both in a waist 28 length 32 and i think price wise they're around 42 pounds i think okay and then the last pairs of jeans i have are from topshop again like i said i absolutely love topshop jeans not sponsored by them at all i just buy a lot of their jeans with my own money um but these are the jamie jeans so they're just like a basic skinny jean um, they have them in loads and loads of different colours, ones with rips, ones without. Um, but these ones I have are faded black and then they have rips in the knee. And then I also have this blue pair, which again, I like a, almost an acid wash blue. Um, and then they have the little rips in the knee again. But yeah, they're just a simple skinny jean. Um, they're a little bit thicker compared to the Hollister ones. Hollister are more of like a jegging, whereas these have a little bit more of like a denim feel to them, but they're also kind of stretchy as well. So not uncomfortable at all. Again, I get them in the waist 28. Um, and price-wise, I think these are 40 pounds. But yeah, they're just a really good pair of skinny jean. I love all the different kind of styles they do them in. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all the jeans. Um, make sure to let me know if you have any other jean recommendations in the comments. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.